Hello all and welcome to this video regarding some of the best tips and tricks for the new iPad Pro 2021. Today I'll be sharing 10 fairly basic tips as well as some hidden gems. So without further ado let's take a look at our first trick. To navigate your way through the iPad it is almost identical to Apple's most recent smartphone handsets. To see your most recently opened apps drag the screen up from the bottom. To close these apps to save battery hold down on the app and swipe up. To switch between your open apps, swipe left and right at the bottom of your screen. To open your control center, swipe down from the top right corner. You can connect either an Xbox or PlayStation controller to your iPad. Today I'll be showing you using a PS4 controller. You'll firstly want to make sure that the iPad's Bluetooth is switched on. Then hold down both the PlayStation and the share button of the controller for just a few seconds until the LED flashes white. Next, jump into your iPad's Bluetooth settings, where you'll see in the other devices, the DualShock controller. Click on this option. From there, your handset will be connected to your iPad. To confirm the connection, the LED will shine a ready pink colour. You will not be able to navigate through the iPad using your controller. It will only be usable during games that support MFI controllers. There is a wide selection of compatible games in the App Store, so you won't be short of choice when choosing what game to play. One of the handiest features of this iPad is that you are able to charge other USB-C devices so you can avoid being caught short with a dead battery when on the go. To achieve this all that you need to do is plug in a USB-C to USB-C cable and connect it to your device. To split the screen of your iPad to see two apps at one time, bring up the dock and hold down the app that you wish to view and then drag it to either the left or right of the screen. It will then snap into position allowing you to multitask with ease. To return to seeing just one app, drag the chosen app to the top of the screen, to which you then expand to cover the entire screen. Press down onto the clock widget to bring up the option to customise your panel. The small plus that appears on the screen allows for you to add widgets. By doing this you are able to customise your iPad to function in the best way for you. If you wish for the panel to be permanently visible on your home screen, press down onto the clock and switch the toggle to on. To pick what options are available to you in your control centre, head over into your control centre settings. Press the plus option to select your most convenient features so that they will appear when opening the control centre. To delve deeper into the features, hold down onto them, where you'll then be presented with a larger selection of ways to use that particular feature. To bring up the dock, swipe from the bottom of the screen. You are able to add apps of your choice to this section. In order to do that, simply drag and drop the app onto the dock. The three apps at the far left that are separated with a divider are your suggested apps. You can hide these by going into the home screen and dock settings and switch off the toggle for show suggested and recent apps in dock. Apple has once again made multitasking from your device exceptionally easy. If you want to catch up on your TV shows but have other things to do on your iPad, do not stress as you are able to shrink your video player and open other apps. You can move the media player around your screen when you have finished watching, click the X on the media player to close your program. To screenshot on the iPad, press down both the volume up and lock button. From here, you'll then be able to open up the screenshot and edit it to however you wish. You can also share the screenshot to whoever you like on any platform from in here. If you would like to present or view your iPad from a larger screen, you can, as you are able to connect your iPad to your TV. This is done by using a USB-C to HDMI adapter like the Elixir one that I hold here. All that is needed to do is insert a HDMI cable that is already connected to your TV into the adapter and then attach the adapter to your iPad. And there you go. I hope you have found our top tips useful today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Head over to our website to see some of the best iPad Pro accessories. For more content like what you have seen today, don't forget to hit our like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.